Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. And as you can tell by the plate, today we are joined with Chris's GR. Filmed a few of these lovely little things uh, in the past. Most recently, uh, another Chris actually, you've probably all seen that video. But to be honest, nowadays there are quite a few absolutely crazy examples of the GR Yaris. So I'm gonna try and film as many of them as I can. This one is of course no exception. Uh, it's got a fully forged engine, it's got a big turbo, running around 530 brake uh, all in. Of course, there's a ton uh, of supporting modifications which has had to be done, Cybex ECU, everything like that. And it's also just been fitted with a pretty epic uh, wide body as well. So it's definitely a very, very heavily modified example. And of course, as I said, we are joined today with Chris, uh, the owner of the car. What we'll do in usual fashion, I'll introduce you to him. Uh, he can basically give us a bit of a walk around of the car, what he's done to it, maybe what he's got planned for the future. Because this is one of these cars which I can tell will just keep on being modified <laughs> as time goes on. Uh, so we'll do that and then we'll go out for a spin in this big turbo, fully forged GR Yaris. Okay, we're joined now with Chris, the owner of this absolute pocket rocket, shall we say. I mean, 530 brake out of this thing on pump fuel as yeah, well pump fuel. is pretty impressive. Um, it's a car which you bought stock, was it? Was it slightly Yeah, modified? it had the um, D-Tuck tuning box, so okay. running around 310 crank. But of course, seeing as we have the bonnet open, we're diving under here because I'm pretty blown away how much power you can get out of a what is a little three, three cylinder? cylinder. Yeah. Um, it's pretty remarkable, really. Right, so as I said, it started off on a D-Tuck, um, running nice power, um, but wasn't enough for me. Mm -hmm. I then went to Litchfield, uh, had their ECU tune. Again, good tune, uh, good map, um, but again, not enough power for me. Yeah. Uh, first <laughs> turbo was the G25 550. Yep. Loved it, really good torque, but I always had bigger plans. So I ended up going for the full build, um, yeah. which that entailed, the whole engine out, obviously. Yeah. Uh, there's no room in here to get the turbo out. Yeah. Some will do it. My tuner wouldn't. Uh, mm. Had that fully forged. Uh, it's had the Kelford cams uh, and springs. It's had uh, the valve locks. Every product from AirTech they do for the GR. <laughs> really? Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's running just a stage one um, yeah. intercooler because the stage three wasn't out. Um, it's running the WellTech uh, inlet manifold, mm -hmm. uh, Lamb Speed turbo. Uh, lamb speed exhaust manifold srd tuning who have actually built the car for me okay yeah uh, they have built me uh, an induction uh, to get some more air into it on the ecu as you mentioned uh, it's ivex mm -hmm. civics however you want to pronounce it mm -hmm. um, superb bit of kit yeah incredible basically this engine has been out four or five times really? since i've had it wow um, mainly because i keep changing things <laughs> uh, it's running a radium fuel flex Yep. system so i can run eth ethanol oh, okay yeah um so that's all switchable nice. so i can run 98 99 or run it on ethanol up to wow. about 105. okay wow and obviously it's been mapped for that as well isn't it yes yeah. it's been mapped and it uh you're on the map settings on zyvex you have three or four mm -hmm. different maps depending on how you want to run it nice uh, day to day fair enough and what turbo is it exactly that so we're it's running at the, moment? the pulsar Okay. Yep. Yeah, love Pulsar. Mm -hmm. Incredible uh, turbo. Uh, some will have uh, on their own opinion. Garrett is obviously the one everyone knows about. Mm -hmm. But the Pulsar turbo for me um, has been incredible. Yeah. Same brake horsepower as a Garrett. Very little, if any, difference at all. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Interesting. And obviously, 530 brake is what we're running on pump fuel. On pump fuel. What is it that we run on, on, on ethanol? Right. So we ran it on ethanol once um, and we got about 457. At the mm -hmm. wheel. At the wheel. At okay. the wheel. Um, but on a low boost. Uh, the tuner struggled to get any more power into it. Yeah. Because the wastegate's a little too small and okay. it wants to run temperature sensors yeah. on the exhaust manifold for safety. Uh, okay. Yeah. So well into the 500s then. Yeah. High probably. 500s. I think I think there's a few guys out there running for 560, 570. Wow. Um, <laughs> on uh, uh, the G25. So yeah. the 660, you're not going to get a huge difference. Yeah but it will just be a bit more linear from three and a half to sort of six and a half gotcha. thousand revs. Yeah, and that's remarkable, isn't it? That kind of power from from what is, to be honest, quite a, a small little engine, really. I mean, the, tiny. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, moving away from all of that, there's obviously a huge amount of, of extra bits on the car. I think we'll talk about the wide body because that's something you literally did just a few days ago before filming this, wasn't it? Yeah, so basically I ordered the uh, wide body kit from prior design. 
uh, in uh -huh. Germany. Yeah. So it took about two months, two and a half months to arrive. It's all fiberglass, yeah. so it needs prepping, painting, and fitting. The idea was always to go wrap rather than painting. Yeah. Um, so I had the body kit fitted. Uh, then a very good friend of ours, Max Media Print, applied the wrap. Yeah, as you see it now, it's been on about two weeks. Yeah. I wow. love it, to be fair. I need, there's a few things I need to do. Yeah. I need to bring out the wheels. Um, yeah. I've got spaces for them. I've got new suspension going on. Yeah. Technically, until I can afford a sequential gearbox, Ooh. we'll be finished. Yeah. <laughs> it's never finished. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> never yeah, finished. it's, uh, it's yeah. been one of those things that no, every... Absolutely time i look at it i go oh that's nice i love yeah. that instead <laughs> yeah moving around though this wing is really cool full carbon yeah obviously. this was a very uh it's actually a prototype from convict racing okay. uh, in czechoslovakia yeah um mm. I, I saw them on instagram yeah. as we all do yeah uh messaged them and they said well we don't actually make it but i've yeah. got a spare one for our rally team he says oh, wow. but, so you can have that one fair enough so massive yeah, shout yeah. out goes to them uh, yeah. BFM performance for the ducktail, nice little, obviously full carbon, yeah. which matches the uh, WRC inspired wing. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, this from the back with the wide arches now. I mean, it's a wide car anyway, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. I mean, it's a fat uh, at the rear, yeah. obviously running the Tom vents and the yeah. body kit just gives that a more aggressive stance. Yeah. I'm a big fan of these because I think factory, it's just a big area that, isn't it? It and is, it needs yeah. needs something there. Yeah, you need something to break it up. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I mean, what a car. What a car, it's, uh, yeah, no expense spared, that's for sure. No, about 130 grand. Really? Don't tell the wife. <laughs> don't watch this. No, do not watch this. <laughs> wow, and obviously, I mean, I suppose that's not everything that's on the car because you've gone through multiple turbos, yeah. uh, multiple wraps, yeah. multiple sets of wheels, everything. Yeah, air ride, so, I've just yes. removed. Okay, yeah. Um, adds up. It adds up <laughs> adds very up. quickly with GRs. Absolutely. Yeah, we, that's we, true, yeah. We seem to uh, get taxed very heavily <laughs> on parts on the GR. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Let's have a little peek inside, actually, because, of course, yeah. there are some... So, in here. one of the first um, modifications I did, uh, the seats mm -hmm. that come from standard are way too high yeah. um, for the GR, so uh, ordered some Recaros uh, from Recaro. Mm -hmm. uh, took forever to come because I had them re-trimmed yeah. uh, with the GR logo. I then decided to change the rear and get a full audio build. It is not something normally you would associate with a track car, but it was uh, more of a show car last year. Yeah. I, I like the music, I like That's the radio, it. so it's yeah. good. Oh, I've then mate. got one of uh, Chris's who you videoed yeah. last week, one of his steering wheel uh, control panels. Yeah, which is cool. Incredible, great yeah. bit of kit. Cooler work, short shifter, yeah. and the Haltech uh, DigiDas. Yes, absolutely. But yeah, no, what a thing. And I mean, to be honest, I'm sure we haven't mentioned every single thing on the car anyway, because I mean, we'll be here forever. Very, very heavily modified really awesome bit of kit so i think if that's pretty much everything i think we'll uh we'll get it fired up and uh and go for a spin in this 530 brake big turbo gr i think it should be a lot of fun brakes on it still no so i've got st standard discs at the moment yep um, but running e-lig race pads and titanium shims yep love those pops Absolutely astonishing, it really is. I know it's just the, the known thing to talk about when you get in a GR, but 530 brake out of a three cylinder. Yeah, uh, you can get more, um, but it will increase the likelihood of changing your gearbox because that's really limited to where I am at the moment without yeah. creating any issues. Yeah. sounds incredible <laughs> yeah it's had a, a quite a bit of playing with because i wanted that real extreme turbo and yeah. flutter yeah um because before it was loud mm. and i 
so many pops and bangs it was a, probably a bit too much yeah <laughs> Sounds absolutely awesome, and I'm really hoping that it's going to come across on camera as well. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Those upshift pops are addictive. For a back row, this is very good. <laughs> it gets better in a minute. Oh, does it? <laughs> yeah. it? Just sticks to the road so well. Yeah. Driving. It's just such a fun car, isn't it? Even standard. <laughs> Are those pops flames? No, I doubt they'll be flames. There yeah. might be the odd one. Yeah. Um, but probably not all of them. Because I have seen on your Instagram this thing is a bit of a flamethrower. Yeah, it in, can be. In a, in a certain mode. Yeah. <laughs> I can get a few, yeah. um, but nothing near as when they get it on the dyno, because they just yeah. literally flood it with fuel. Yeah, and then it just pours out. And then out it just pours out, yeah, <laughs> and it's controlled, which yeah. is a bit better. Yeah, absolutely. Nice little party piece. Yeah. It's funny enough, you get a few more in like the lower map in map two. Okay. Um, map four is your flame one, which yep. will give you a lot of flames and anti lag. Oh, yeah. But that will basically be sort of spitting out flames when you rev it. Yeah, that's so cool that you can just change it on there, though. Yeah. flat out but yeah and that's map two so I've not got it in the yeah. fastest one because I don't know the roads yeah so obviously we're on coilovers at the moment I don't think we've mentioned actually what yeah it is so the yellow speed coilovers yeah um, basically need a, a change when I got rid of the uh, air rides and yeah. these were available yeah. um, so I've got uh, KW's come in next week, which nice. should hopefully give me yeah. a slightly better run. Yep. To be fair though, the yellow speeds, now they've been set up, are actually a decent, for a grand, Yeah. you know, they're, they're okay. Yeah. But there is coilover snobbery, without a doubt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I suppose going into next year, this car's going to be more of a track car, yeah. isn't it? So it's worth investing into the suspension. hundred percent, yeah, it needs yeah. proper setting up. Yeah. What you'll see now. Two to three. Yeah. You can wow. just feel it at three and a half thousand RPM. Yeah. It just takes off. Keep going. Yeah. So it's funny because what I can do is sort of hold it yeah. at around sort of four and a half. Yeah. And then when you put your foot down in map three, yeah. the difference is just different worlds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Revs is seven and a half as well. Yeah. I mean, what a car though. It's absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. And fair play to you for literally ticking every single box. And a few extra that no one really <laughs> likes on the GR world, Starlights and yeah, uh, yeah, that's Air Ride. Different. Yeah, it's something different, isn't it? It's, uh, uh, do you know what, my car, my rules. Exactly, you got it. But yeah, mate, thank you so much for, for coming down and, uh, just, and showcasing it. Yeah, these roads are uh, brilliant. You <laughs> might uh, have some competition on your hands when you come down here next week. I've been filming some more. You're like, yeah. oh, hang on. <laughs> I recognise him. <laughs> but yeah, of course, if you do want to learn more about Chris's build and how it's going to evolve, and of course, I will leave his Instagram link down in the description down below. For me today, as the sun is blinding us, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.